So, so take me back to the transition to, to LBA. Sure, so um, you actually played a, a very small but big part in it. Um, I had been introduced to LBA uh, through it through a deal that I worked on when I was at Grubb and Ellis mm -hmm. um, as a broker and one of the principals was at your engagement party yes um, at the at the buffet table if you will that's right and uh, he inquired to see if I was interested in in you know doing something different mm -hmm. in the business and I was was eager to, to jump at that mm -hmm. um, and get on the get on the uh, ownership side but I didn't really know that much about the company mm -hmm. at the time um, so that was a lot of, again, investigation, talking to my peer groups in the brokerage mm -hmm. business about the reputation of Steve yeah. Layton, Phil Belling, yeah. Steve, Briggs, Steve Briggs. And yeah. I, got, I got a lot of great input. Mm -hmm. um, because they, they had just started a few years prior to that, had, right? I mean, they they had. Had, so it was relatively, it wasn't like you could go and research the track history of the company. Not at all. Um, and they were doing receivership work. They were doing workouts mm -hmm. for banks. Mm -hmm. They hadn't even started investing yet. Um, the investment program they put together literally was um, launched the day I started mm. in, in June of 1995. Got it. Yeah.